And what is it about this 2017 Porsche Carrera GTS that has compelled the aficionados to call it the sweet spot in the 911 range? That's a range that begins with the Carrera, then there's the Carrera S, Near the top there's the Turbo S which is monstrous and there's the GT3 track weapon but sitting there right in the middle is this car, the 911 GTS and I've got to tell you this car is absolutely epic. Weighing in at just 1500 kilos, it's supercar fast, dispatching 0 to 60 miles an hour in a blistering 3.6 seconds. The relentless acceleration going on all the way to a barely believable 195 miles per hour. I mean, 30 years ago, this was good enough for the legendary 959 hypercar. 10 years or so ago, that was 911 Turbo S territory. <laughs> to tell you how exceptional this car is but what actually happened when I went and handed this demonstrator back to the dealer but before we get into that let's take a look at this latest honing by the world's best automotive boffins of what many believe is the greatest sports car in the history of all sports cars model variant GTS 991.2 Porsche give us GTS models every 18 months or so into a 911 model build cycle which means they only produce a few and only for about two years at a time making this a fairly rare car and this time around Porsche has clearly hit its brief making this the car to buy if you're after a usable 911 with the wick turn right up the new engine is now turbocharged producing 450 brake horsepower and a mightily impressive 550 newton meters of torque. The styling has been refreshed, the details have been honed, that 20 millimeter lower stance, widened body and a reimagining of the instantly recognizable classic shape all amount to what is an undeniable center stage kind of car. There is the highest quality engineering everywhere you care to look from the impeccable trimming of the interior, crafted switches and controls, beautifully made instruments, interior quality is really a wonder to behold. Those fans of the 911 will love it. There are lots of particularly desirable details and specification tweaks. The joy of the Carrera GTS lies in the specs. Aficionados will spot the smoked rear lenses, darkened trim, black tailpipes, and those center lock, 20 inch alloy wheels. And lucky owners are also given a standard PASM active suspension trickery, active engine mounts, the Sport Chrono Pack, heated sports seats, Alcantara trim, and this one is optioned up with the four wheel steering and dynamic chassis control system. In short, it's a Carrera S plus another 20%, and the result feels like perfection. Perfection. Convertibles can be a letdown when compared to their equivalent hardtop versions. This Cabriolet breaks that stereotype. This latest version is easily the best ever, keeping an identical appearance to the coupe bar the obvious fabric bit. The classic 911 silhouette remains, as does the total structural rigidity. Mere mortal drivers won't detect any difference in body control here. Opening and closing that roof takes just 13 seconds, and you can do it at up to speeds of 31 miles per hour. You can also open and close the roof via the key fob if you spot that impending rainstorm. It's exciting just looking at this car, never mind the anticipation of actually getting in and going for a drive. Up front there is plenty of room for two adults and you can sit just about two adults in the rear but only for short distances. Those standard sports seats have a good level of support and bolstering for your back and are extremely comfortable with excellent side supports. Just the thing for keeping you in your seat when you're cornering enthusiastically. Even when you're poodling around town, the 911 is comfortable and really very enjoyable to drive. At this point, I just thought I'd share with you what it was like 
the first time I actually put my foot down properly in this car. We're in Sport Plus and we're going to floor it. Needless to say, the performance, the acceleration of this car is absolutely epic. Road, tyre and wind noise are kept to a minimum and the car is well insulated with the roof in place. It is hugely capable on the road and easy to live with if you have to get embroiled on a motorway drive. It really starts to wake up though as the speed increases. In all ways this car feels devastatingly effective. It comes as no surprise to hear it's massively fast on the track, particularly with the PDK gearbox and the four wheel drive. And while the Carrera switch to turbocharging was a big deal when it was first announced, it's not something to fret about. Flat six pulls hard from as little as 1500 RPM and joy of joys, there's little indication that it's turbocharged. With the sports exhaust turned on, it's a loud, hard edged soundtrack and makes entertaining pops and bangs on the overrun. You can, of course, just leave the car's settings alone and enjoy the comfortable ride. But playing with the driving modes via the dial that's on the steering wheel allows the driver to tune it in fully. It's here you can tweak the power steering and active damping to suit personal preference. The center of the dial unlocks a Natalie sports re response mode too, allowing an overboost shot of power for about 20 seconds. This is like the overtake button, the hit the red button, and you boost past the traffic. I've been lucky enough to have driven a few performance cars, but none have come close to this car's perfection. I can't think of another car this sharp, this fast, this thrilling, and yet remaining usable. So it finally came to the painful time and I had to hand this remarkable car back to the dealer. I really didn't want to hand it over. Agony was followed by agonizing. Could it be that the salespeople had a point explaining how Porsche limit the supply of the GTS, resulting in them keeping their value better than a Swiss pension fund? Could it be that this car could cost minimum amount of money to own? And that while Porsche won't ever permit price discounts, a dealer will give away goodies, a few options, surface packs, bits and pieces at this time of year? Well, I didn't have the strength of will to resist. I caved into the salesman can't believe it. I handed over my 5,000 deposit and I've now put myself on the waiting list for what will be my very own Carrera 911 GTS. Watch this space. <laughs>